if I bought some Bitcoin when it was like three dollars I would have been like a billionaire now why doesn't this ever happen why do we hardly hear of anyone who's bought something at an extremely low price and become like ridiculously rich from it So this video is going to be a little bit different. It's almost like a philosophical discussion, but not really. It's just more saying some ideas out loud, have them out there and to help people who are maybe new to understand why some of these things are unrealistic and why they don't really happen very often and what the best way is to actually get something similar. So the first type of people who can get ridiculously rich from trading stocks or crypto are the gamblers. So people who go in with a gambler mentality, usually they a lot of them will go all in on one stock that's at let's say a very low price and if it doubles it's like a home run they've just doubled like their whole net worth the issue with this mentality is it is literally the same concept as gambling at a casino the same way that you doubled your money or 10x your money that is exactly how easy it is for you to lose it all as well and if you go all in you either double all your money or you lose all your money which is either amazing life-changing or it's literally life destroying now some people might find it okay to do this if they have like a good safety net if their family can support them if they lost all their money or something like that but either way it's an unwise decision because most of the time you will end up losing it I even know some people who did this with stocks and doubled their money over and over and then actually lost their money at an actual casino because the person who's doing it has that same mentality throughout his life and if it's not at a casino he'll probably go all in on something else maybe as a seed investor or something like that but that mentality doesn't last very long what could work is if you happen to be a gambler with a gambler mentality sort of thing and you happen to double your money once or twice and then you just stop doing the gambler mentality thing but that's just not how it usually works because usually this mentality gets you like tied up and you just stay in it and it's very hard to get out it's actually like an addiction and a lot of the time people are not even doing it for the money they're just doing it for the thrill of it for the fun for the adrenaline rush the second way is genuinely getting lucky so if you just happen to buy something and it just happened to go up 300% the next day and you happen to have put a significant amount of money in it then that's great for you but it just doesn't happen very often like I don't know why usually when people put a sizable amount of money in something it'll go up like 10 20% maybe but when they put like ten dollars in something it'll go up like 300 percent and they'll think oh why didn't i put like my whole bank account into it and then the next time they see an opportunity like that and they do go and put all their money in it they end up losing it there's just nothing really out there that has such a huge secure return that could make you money that easily it just it just doesn't exist the third way is buying low and selling high at the right times but there's no way to do this because how would you know when is the bottom and when is the top? So for example, when you say that someone bought Bitcoin at $3 and then they would sell it at like 80,000 or whatever was the highest thing it reached, 64,000 or whatever. Yes, that would be amazing. But the issue with that is how would you know that 64,000 is the top? Because let's say you bought Bitcoin at $3. When it goes to $5, you're already like ecstatic because you've almost doubled. When it reaches 6, you have doubled. When it reaches 12, 15, we're not even talking in the thousands or even the hundreds yet. We're just talking about $12. So it would make sense to anyone investing to take profit when Bitcoin's at $12, right? Or even much before that. So someone who would not sell at 12, not sell at 50, not sell at 100, not sell at 200, 500, 1000, 2000, 10,000, like if they're not gonna sell at any of these levels, why will they sell at 64,000? And there's no indicator out there that's telling you that Bitcoin is worth 64,000 or that it's gonna reach that. It's all pure speculation. And then the last and definitely not least, probably the best way to actually achieve something, if you believe in something, to just hold on to it long term as much as you can until you like need the money or you need to buy like a better asset like maybe real estate because let's say you did that with bitcoin let's say you bought it when it was like three dollars and you thought you know what i'm not gonna like 
sell this unless I really need the money or it reaches an amount that's enough to like buy real estate or buy like some other asset that's that can give me an actual income so that way you would sort of disassociate from the stock and all this you'll just be parking your money in it and whether it goes to five dollars ten dollars a hundred dollars a thousand a hundred thousand you're not gonna sell it unless you like actually need to and that is if it is something you believe in because there are some stocks where you could hold it it'll peak and then it'll go down and you're still just holding it back to zero you could potentially make life-changing money from trading options but options are also pretty easy to lose your money but i still think options have way better odds than like going all in on something like a gambler mentality or trying to time something in a way that you buy it at the bottom and sell it at the peak because there is literally no way of knowing when there's a bottom and when there's a peak you could draw some lines it'll give you like some idea maybe but then when something starts reaching the line you drew at the top for example the greed kicks in and you think no if it reach this it can reach higher it can reach higher and before you know it that thing is going crashing back down when you're in a loss you don't want to take the loss because you saw how much gain you were in and then you just write it down to zero so all I'm trying to say is don't go into investing thinking that you're gonna get rich quick from it yes you can build your wealth from it you can build a significant amount of wealth you can even make an income depending on how much money you have but don't go in there thinking that I'm gonna go in with a hundred dollars and I'm gonna come out of this a millionaire the odds of that happening is maybe a little more likely than you like hitting the lottery I've seen too many people who are not even idiots who are knowledgeable about what they're doing but they get carried away with the greed and they go all in on something and before you know it they're losing it all and it's a life-changing loss so make sure you're always diversified and control your emotions that's all for this video I just wanted to say these thoughts out loud and nothing in this video is financial advice and it's for entertainment purposes only and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below if you got any huge wins or losses or things that you regret or things that you're proud of let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends, especially those who are new to investing, and I'll see you next week.